It's been 17 years in the making. It's not the zombie apocalypse or a plague of locusts, it's the cicada invasion. Over the next few weeks, areas from North Carolina up through New York will be inundated with billions of these swarming insects. The question is, should they be feared or celebrated? They're back! Cicadas will be descending once again on the northeastern United States this spring. The rare insects are a highly unique creature, spending the first 17 years of life underground only to emerge by the billions for a two to three week mating season. It's no wonder they're viewed with a mixture of horror and wonder. Now people are acting like this is the end of the world. Will you please reassure them that it is not? <laughs> Okay, it's not the end of the world. No, I mean, it'll be exciting when it starts happening. About another week and a half or so, you have thousands of nymphs emerging out of the ground. About a week after that, the adults will be flying around, and there'll be you know millions. Some say in the billions, up and down the East Coast. But then, by the end of June, that's it. It's all over. They'll all be dead. The eggs will be laid, and uh, that's it for another 17 years. So I think we can make it. This is all cicadas. This is all cicadas. And this is all cicadas. <laughs> Ed Johnson is the director of science at the Staten Island Museum and has been studying the bugs so long, he's begun measuring his own life in cicada emergences. The museum's collection is the second largest cicada collection in North America, second in the world only to the British Museum. And it's all thanks to William T. Davis, better known as the Cicada Man. Davis was a turn-of-the-century naturalist who helped found the Staten Island Museum. He was elected curator at the ripe age of 19. It was Davis who referred to these insects as cicada, not cicada. Now, the Staten Island Museum has a huge collection of cicadas, so tell me a little bit about how did you get this collection? Uh, it's all due to uh, William T. Davis' efforts once again. He was the cicada man during the early part of the century, actually the 20th century, and uh, he described over half of the cicadas known in North America. He collected a lot, and he also had specimens sent to him for different institutions and other scientists, so we gradually built up this collection to be about 35,000 specimens, all told. The public might fear cicadas, but the truth is they pose no physical threat to humans and have virtually no defense mechanisms. They, they don't bite because they don't have biting mouth parts. They don't stink they don't have a stinger. They really can't do anything. They, they, they are a little clumsy, so they tend to crash into people when they're flying around, but uh, they, they can't hurt you at all. Depending on the region or brood, they emerge from the ground every 13 to 17 years to find a mate. After nearly two decades in the earth, cicadas only live for two to three weeks above ground, which is just long enough to locate a mate with their highly specialized and widely studied mating calls. So tell me a little bit about cicadas. What is so special about them? Why are they so unique? Well, I think it, what really does it is this unusual life cycle of 17 years. No other insect really does that. I mean, you have the 13-year ones down south, but most cicadas have maybe like a three to seven year life cycle. And most insects only live for one season. So to have these, these long lived insects is really something unusual. And the fact that they come out all at once is the really the big thing. Cicadas may be feared by most, but they are celebrated by some. They have amassed a huge cult following, spawning various fan sites and a vast array of cicada merchandise. The exhibit features cicadas from around the world, from Australia, who has the loudest, to Southeast Asia, who has the largest. That's the, the stop and go cicada, it's like a red light, green light kind of thing there. So, stop and go. So when the wings are closed, all you see is the green. They can hide very nicely. But I guess maybe if they get startled or something, a uh, predator comes by, they can open up their wings really fast, like those bright, the bright red flesh. Cicadas are also a source of nutrients. People around the world regularly eat cicadas. They can be found deep fried, stir fried, skewered or blanched. They have even been made into ice cream. Brood 2 will be emerging on the East Coast around May 21st from North Carolina to upstate New York, but by the end of June, the 2013 cicada invasion will come to a close, and it will be another 17 years before we see these controversial creatures again. Marisa Christian, Abbey Times TV.